I'm Josh, and this is my lawnmower. And there's one thing I'd like to change about it, and that's be able to cut grass at night. To achieve my goal, I went to the furthest extents of the deep, dark Amazon and found this off-road light kit. It works on 12 volts and it should work exactly how we need. So it has one large light bar, also got two smaller ones, and it's got a wiring harness associated with it. Connectors and fuses and all that good stuff. And some mounting brackets. Another thing I want, so th this comes with just a push button. So you would be pushing, turning both the top and the bottom, or these are gonna go on the bottom. Um, this is gonna go on the, the rollover bar. So how this kit is right now is you just push a button and they all come on. And I want a little bit more granularity than that, just because I can. So I've opted to get a rotary switch. So it's gonna have one position for off, one for position for bottom, one position for the top, and one position for both. For customizing this, I want to actually test it out how it was intended. I'm only gonna use one light because if one works, they should all work because they're all tied together. So I'm gonna simulate a 12 volt battery with this power supply right here. Just gonna connect it up and turn on power supply. So, light turns on, light turns off of the switch. Pretty simple. All right, so this is a schematic I drew up for it. You have your battery here. We're gonna have uh, the fuse that came with it to protect it so if something shorts out and the fuse will blow and won't melt the wiring. We have our selector switch here, and we have two relays. So currently the wiring harness just comes with one relay, so we're gonna add another relay. That way we can individually control um, each set of lights. And basically what a relay does is it takes a small amount of electricity to turn on a large amount of electricity. So you have your little coil and it will, it will turn it on. And then for both, uh, when we want to turn both on, we have to have diodes in there, otherwise, so the electricity doesn't flow back up. If you didn't have these diodes in here, every time you selected one of them, it would turn all of them on. So that's what we're gonna do. So I have this kind of breadboarded out, if you will, and wires, um, and just a proof of concept. So one of these represents the upper and one re represents the lower. So, zero turn is off, next turn is one on, next one is the other one's on, and then both are on. All right, now that we have uh, the wiring figured out, at least breadboarded, uh, we have to figure out where we want to put the electronics. So we have the switch, we have to find a place to put it, and then we have the relays um, that we need to find a place to ha house those. And so, if you look here, here on the control panel, we have all our stuff. We have the throttle, choke, key, and then the PTO engagement. And I think that this light switch would work very well right here. So I think that's where we're gonna put it. So I'm gonna take this off real quick. All right, so I put the switch in over here. Uh, I did that off camera. And right now it's just got loose wires in the back. So now what I need to do is I need to run power from the battery into this little compartment in here. So this is a compartment that I have to run power into. And if you look back there, there's a, a hole where it pops up through on the wires. And I'll show you what it looks like from the other side. So here I'm gonna run uh, wires from the battery terminals up through this hole and then I'm going to have a fuse and the two relays sitting in this compartment behind this panel and then it's going to get connected up to the switch.
just real quickly, I did this off camera, but uh, I saw me make the bracket here, and I had the holes drilled out for those bolts, and I have the whole holes drilled out for these. And so I have a, I took these bolts out, put them through, and tightened them back up so that it's on there nice and tight. And I originally had concerns because I don't really like to mess with the, <coughs> this rollover protection thing. Um, but I don't live on any hills, so I don't see any problems with that. And also there's just another plate here holding it together, preventing it from fall, coming apart. So I think this guy adds strength more than take it away. Um, just something to note though. And then I put the two brackets on there that came with the light. And then the bolts that go into the floating nuts that are in the groove here. And then I also did some cable management and ran a wire all the way down. I extended the wire that originally came with this and then I put this uh, expando nylon sleeve over it and zip tied it to it here to make it look really nice. So the wire runs from the light down the post and I zip tied it up to try and do some wire management but then it goes up into the uh, electronics bay. Alright, I know I initially said that we would use this wiring harness. But the more I look into it, uh, the more I figured we're just going to go full custom. That way we don't have extra lengths of wire hanging out. And I just don't, don't need all this stuff. So we need some fuses. So I got some fuse holders. We need some relays. So I got a box of those. Now I need to make a wire to connect to the battery. So I, I've already got a positive one here and we're going to put the fuse on the positive side. So I, what I need to do is I need to make another one, a uh, black one for the, the negative side, the return, and I'm going to put a fuse on this one. These fuses are just simple inline fuses. And connect this up. Take that. Alright, I went ahead and off camera I tried to make this uh, wiring harness and try to make it as neat as possible. So, just going off the schematic, so the, the battery connectors we have one over here, and we have the positive over here, and on the positive line, we have a fuse located right here, um, and that feeds in to the relays. So the positive side of the relays, the ones that hold the power, the, where most of the current's gonna go, is the blue wires on the relays, and then that flows through to the white wires, where I will attach uh, an LED to each the upper and the lower one so that completes the circuit for the, the light and then for the switch the power flows in then I have this which is going to go to the common on the switch the the middle one and then there's two wires or there's three wires coming off the switch one for the common which will plug in here and then there's two others one to turn the upper on and one to turn the lower on so I have upper and lower. I've gone through and labeled all these. I have a heat shrink label maker and it makes everything very clear when I go to actually install it on what goes where and it's going to be easier to track down if there's an error. Alright, I buttoned it up. I'm going to put the switch on and give it a shot. down below here somehow. I think probably right underneath there. And so what I did is I found the center of it uh, with my laser line. I lined it up with, look, I just eyeballed the center on, on it. And uh, then I went, measured six inches out on each side. So it gives me a good indication on where to mount these things. And one thing you have to be sure of is that the wheels don't hit it when they turn in. So uh, we're gonna get after it. First step is to remove the feet well, foot well, whatever you want to call it, because that's going to be in our way. So I'm going to remove it real quick 
and we're going to start mounting this better idea. I think I'm going to drill a hole through here through this uh, piece of angle and so I can mount these from the bottom. I'll have a screw coming up to the bottom and a nut on top with a, a lock washer to hold it there. I think that should be good. We can then route the cable underneath here, underneath this part right here, and up into the electronics box. I think that will work out nicely. That looks pretty good. I like it shines low, makes shadows, so it's gonna be easy to cut. Awesome. All right, let me get the other one installed. All right, so let me show you the wire routing. So it comes off the back of here. There's a, I have them joined up here, and then I have the two wires going in the snake skin all the way up. And it goes. Down under here, I have to tighten this stuff up. Um, but this bar will move, so I've been trying to avoid places that will pinch. Um, has, and it's been kind of hard to get. But it goes up, so it comes out down right there. Goes up and into the electronics box with the rest of the wires. All right, one last connection to make for the lower lights, and then we can put a wrap on this project. So on the return goes to the negative one. And then there should be, there we go. That is lower LED plus. Put the positive one in there. Now let's check it. Boom. Perfect. <laughs> 